For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnasir.com and www.mathswithnasirblogspot.com. Thank you. Now we are going to solve this page number 267, chapter 10, mensuration. In this problem, it is given that Travelis house has a water tank in the shape of cylinder on the roof. This is filled by pumping water from the sump and underground tank, which is in the shape of cuboid. The sump has dimensions 1.57 meters, 1.44 meters, 1.5 meters. The water tank has radius of 60 centimeters and a height of 95 centimeters. Find the height of the water left in the sump after the water tank has been completely filled with water from the sump which had been full of water. Compare the capacity of the tank with that of the sump. Use pi is equal to 3.14. From the given data, we can draw the figure like this. Here, this is the sump which is in the form of cuboid. Length L1 is 1.57 meters and the breadth B1 is equal to 1.44 meters and the height H1 is 1.5 meters given. Then volume V1 is equal to L1 B1 H1 and over tank is in the form of cylinder. Then its radius is 60 centimeters given and its height is 95 centimeters is given. Then volume of cylinder V2 is equal to pi R square H. From the given data, we can draw the figure like this here this is the sump which is in the form of cuboid length l1 is 1.57 meters and the breadth b1 is equal to 1.44 meters and the height h1 is 1.5 meters given then volume v1 is equal to l1 b1 h1 and over tank is in the form of cylinder then its radius is 60 centimeters given and its height is 95 centimeters is given then volume of cylinder v2 is equal to pi r square h after filling the overhead tank with the water in the sump, there is some water left in the sump. So its volume V is equal to V1 minus V2 and height of the water remaining in the sump is equal to H2. We have to find H2 and V. And V is equal to L1 V1 H2. Now we are going to find the volume of the water in the sump. V1 is equal to L1 V1 H1. Here L1 is 1.57 and V1 value is 1.44 and H1 is equal to 1.5 meter cube. After multiplying this, we get 3.3912 meter cube. We already know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Then we substitute meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So 100 centimeters cube is written as 100 into 100 into 100 centimeter cube. Here 3.3912 is written as 33,912 by 10,000. Now we cancel 4 zeros in the denominator and 4 zeros in the numerator. Then we write 33,912 into 100 centimeter cube. Therefore, V1 is equal to 33912 centimeter cube. Now we are going to find the volume of the water tank on the roof that is cylinder volume V2 is equal to pi R square H. Pi value is 22 by 7 and R value is 60 and H value is 95. Next to 22 by 7 is written as 3.14 and 60 squared is written as 60 into 60. After multiplying these values, we get 10,73,880 cm cube. Now we find the volume of the water left in the sump. V is equal to V1 minus V2. After substituting the V1 and V2 values, it can be written as 33,91,200 minus 10,73,880. After subtracting this, we get 23,17,320 cm3. This is the volume of the water left in the sump. We get the volume of water left in the sump after filling the tank. V is equal to 23,17,320 cm3. But according to the given problem, water left in the sum is equal to L1 B1 H2 is equal to V. Now we substitute L1 B1 and V values and we can find the H2 height of the water left in the sum. 1.57 meters into 1.44 meters into H2 is equal to 23,17,320. So we convert 
meters into centimeters and 1.44 meters into centimeters after converting we get 1.57 meters is equal to 157 centimeters and 1.44 meters as 144 centimeters then it can be written as 157 centimeters into 144 centimeters into h2 is equal to 23 lakh 17320 centimeter cube then h2 can be written as 23 lakh 17320 divided by 157 into 144 after cancellation we get h2 is equal to 102.5 centimeter this is the height of the water left in the sump now we find the ratio of volume of the sump and the tank so volume of the sump is 33 lakhs 91,200 and volume of the overhead tank is 23 lakhs 17,320 after dividing this we get 1.46 by 1 so therefore sump can hold the 1.46 times the water that can be held in the tank Please like, share, subscribe our channel for latest updates by pressing the bell icon. For more information, visit our website and blog www.mathswithnasir.com and www.mathswithnasirblogspot.com. Thank you.